Hello, I'm Lexi Cooper, and this is how and why I started building mechanical keyboards. A little bit of background. My very first network engineering job, I was hired into a NOC, and I was the only woman on the team. So it was basically just me in a big room with a bunch of dudes, and there was barely any separation between any of us, right? It went about as well as you might expect. There were a few little things, but for the most part, I got my work done fine. We did have a manager whose office was off to the side and he would come out and chat with us pretty often, which was pretty fun. But one day he decided that he was just gonna test me. Um, I don't know if he realized he was gonna test me, but he definitely did. He walked past me this day and I, you know, I'm just sitting there typing on my like laptop, using the laptop keyboard like a normal person and just typing on it, right? Um, and he decides that he's just going to complain about women getting nails done at a salon, getting fake nails, or as he called it, claws, and how annoying it is for him to have to listen to women typing when they have long nails. And I'm sitting there like, okay, my nails are not I'm not wearing acrylic nails. My nails are not super long. Definitely not long enough to like affect the sound that me typing would make. And I'm using a laptop keyboard, so it's pretty quiet, right? So I laugh it off because he's my manager. What am I going to do? But I go home and I ruminate on it um, because it's like, you know, he's acting like I have these kinds of nails, right? He went on and on and on about claws and crazy nails and it's like there's nothing wrong with these nails but i definitely didn't have them so it was clearly a sexist thing to be complaining about to the only woman in the room right so i go home and i start to get the attitude that i tend to get when someone tells me not to do a thing or to do a different thing especially when it's a man and that attitude is basically i will do the thing that i was doing and i will do it more um so I think about it for a while and then I end up messaging my friend who is super into keyboards. All I knew was that he was super into keyboards and loud ones. And I asked him, what's the loudest keyboard that I could possibly buy? And he gave me a recommendation for a keyboard I could get off of Amazon that had something, some kind of keys is all I knew that made it really, really loud. And I bought this keyboard. I trusted him and I brought it to work and it sure was loud. It was super, super loud when you typed on it. And I was hoping to get a reaction out of my manager, didn't get anything. Actually, I had some people compliment me on the keyboard. So I'm sitting there like, okay, this is not getting the reaction that I wanted. But as I use it more and more, I realize I actually really like how it feels to use this keyboard. It's just very loud, but it's very satisfying to press down on the keys, you know, and type with it. So I end up looking into keyboards a little bit more because I knew that you could customize them. I'd just never done it before. And as I'm researching, I realize, okay, the switch in a mechanical keyboard is the reason why that keyboard that I'm using is super loud. It turns out, as I learned, um, this keyboard had Cherry MX Blue switches in it, which are known in the keyboard world as being amongst the loudest switches you could possibly have in a keyboard. So. That was what I had in my keyboard, and I realized maybe I don't want these switches in there, so maybe I should switch it up. And as I'm looking into all of this, I realized, wow, switches are not the only thing you can customize about a keyboard. You can customize keycaps. Uh, you know, any kind of theme that you want your keyboard visually to have, you can make it have that, right? You can um, change the switches out, of course, to quieter ones or ones that feel different. You can change out the PCB, add materials inside of the keyboard to make it sound better get a cool aviator cable, all of that kind of stuff. So I start looking into it and I end up ordering a partially pre-built but not totally built keyboard for myself. And that was me putting it together. Here's the final product. I love this keyboard. It's so beautiful. Um, and I was very happy with it. But after a year or so, I wanted another one. And here I am actually building that one. I built this one from the ground up myself. So um, this is me putting it all together very happily. And the final product is down here on the bottom right. So moral of the story, be careful what injustices you decide to address with passive aggressiveness because it might lead you down a rabbit hole of a very expensive and time-consuming hobby. <laughs> Thank you very much.